What is up you two? My name is John and today I will be reacting to Agora Path. Now you might remember last year in May I actually reacted to this band Agora and the song name was Satya and I really enjoyed it. It was really interesting, you know, progressive metal kind of jazz fusion thingy and it was extremely enjoyable and just a few days ago, four days ago actually, uh, Santiago Dobles who actually plays guitar and is basically the mastermind of this band uh, left a comment on the video that I made and by the way thank you thank you Santiago so much for checking out my video I really really appreciate it and he told me that uh, the band has released a new album named Entheogenic Frequencies uh, but there was also another thing that I didn't really realize at the time when I reacted to the previous song Satya and that is actually that uh, Sean Reinhardt, who played uh, drums in Cynic and Death, uh, who recently passed away, uh, has also played in this band for some time. And I didn't realize that I, I knew this drummer, I knew his uh, work, his playing was absolutely phenomenal and still is on all the records that he's made. I remember just seeing some random show that kind of showed these videos, music videos that were not usually, you know, broadcasted on TV and Cynic was playing, I believe, and I was like, oh my god, this drummer is so cool, man. And it was one of those moments where I was like, yeah, man, I, I really, really want to be a drummer or just learn how to be able to drum, and yeah, I was, god damn it, I must have been like 17 years old or, old or something like that. But yeah, unfortunately Sean has passed away just recently and it's it's just man this year I don't know what's happening man too many too many great people passing away and yeah Sean actually played in the song Satya that I reacted to before amazing amazing playing as always but right now we are going to check out a brand new song or a song from last year it was released on the 29th of December 2019 and that is named Path and also from what I've read this song or this whole album probably is instrumental so let's check out Path by Agora here we go 3 2 1 now Starting off strong, all right. <laughs> oh man, the bass playing, yeah. Remember that from the last song. Fantastic. And I love how the bell on the right just cuts through like crazy. <laughs> okay. So like I say the artwork is kind of like born of Osiris kind of artwork, if you know what I mean. Looks really cool. Love the ambient keyboard backdrop.
Oh man, when that bass kicks in, it's so good. It's almost Middle Eastern like, you know. Something about it. All the symbol work. Okay, the drumming here is absolutely fantastic. Right, China, and Tom's. The snare, obviously, but it's such a crazy pattern. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, what is happening with my hair? And why do I care? It's very psychedelic. Not very psychedelic, but quite psychedelic. At least a little bit, you know. I say a little bit and I show this. A little bit. <laughs> oh, it's just showing all the letters in the outro here. I really like that. It's a great way to kind of, I don't know, just fade out a song without having to fade out, you know, the entire thing into nothingness. Just break it down piece by piece and just kind of undress the song, as I would say. <laughs> Alright, so that was Agora Path. And another great, great piece of great musicianship. Again, that bass that I really loved in the last song was again present here. I believe it's a different player, but the playing is still superb. Really, you know, not something that you hear every day in, you know, especially in a metal setting, you know, sometimes the bass just kind of gets gets buried under other instruments. Gotta say, especially in the very first half, very, very busy drumming on some of those riffs, you know, really, really chunky drum fills on those toms and just blast beats blast beating me into infinity great great riffs you know when it comes to instrumental songs i believe that i've said this some quite a few times before but sometimes what happens is that these songs just kind of bore me quite fast because i really like when songs have vocals when songs don't have vocals don't have vocals sorry you just have to write something, you know, really, you know, gripping, something that just will hold my attention for the entire time. And trust me, I lose attention quite fast. <laughs> but thankfully, this wasn't the case. Because the musicianship and the songwriting is just there. 
you know, I didn't expect the solo to just pop in like this and it was just freaking awesome. Also gotta say, gotta praise the, the backing keyboards, you know, just creating this mystic atmosphere and, you know, really getting a little bit psychedelic as I said before at the end there and just at the end how the song fades out, you know, when everything is just kinda laid out before you, you know, all the layers of the song and just sounds great. But God damn it! what also stuck in my head was that crazy drum beat that was present you know, quite a few times in the second part of the song. And it was that drum beat. I don't actually really know if that's all that it is that is there to it. But it was like, you know, some fast ride hits, then China, then, you know, very fast Tom hits and somewhere in between also, you know, alternating with the snare hits. Not entirely sure what was played on bass drums, but that was busy as all hell and sounded just great. You know, it was technical yet musical and very fitting into the song and I really enjoy that. You know, it was an awesome progressive song, but it wasn't like overly, you know, professorish or over-the-top guitar wanker is sometimes people say because sometimes when you have progressive song uh, a progressive song and you have like amazing players everyone can be like an amazing player in that band but this song is just just feels like you know everyone is just trying to show off and it doesn't just doesn't have any feeling to it and any atmosphere thankfully this also wasn't the case here because I really like how you know, basically the bass serves not just, you know, as a rhythmic instrument, but also it brings in this kind of, as I said before, this Middle Eastern kind of vibe, atmosphere, together with the keyboards, with a little bit of the psychedelic keyboard, or sometimes just even the simpler keyboard backdrop, you know, electronics in the back. And it just, it just creates such a great vibe. And, you know, it just creates a unique sound for the band and that is something that is very important today. Yeah, I guess that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to Path by Agora. So Santiago, I wish you all the best uh, in the future. Keep creating music because this stuff is absolutely amazing. You are an amazing player and composer, so never stop doing this because it's just fantastic stuff that you're creating here so thank you so much for that and thank you so much guys for watching if you enjoyed this video and my reaction consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff because as you know there is always more videos coming your way and if you feel like talking to me outside of youtube there are links to my social medias down in the description below this video as well as a link where you can directly support my channel and what i do here in via paypal or on patreon so guys again thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video so have a nice day evening, night, or whatever you have right now. Cheers.